Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Magic video. We are doing our first Duskmorn draft of the format. This is best of one play because it's the only way to be ranked, and I promise this will be the last time I complain about the ranked best of one play being an issue. This video. But uh, let's, let's see what we get. Didn't get to go to pre-release because we don't get to have those because our store isn't WPN certified. So let's see what we got here. Our rare is Cursed Recording, which lets you copy instants and sorceries, but then it punches you in the face. Um, yeah, I don't think that's very good. I do think Miasma Demon's pretty good. Um, this puts it into your hand and not into play. Veteran Survivor is medium. Smoky Lounge, I've seen do good work. Um, I don't really have a, a real removal spell in here, so yeah, we'll just take the demon, see what we can do with that. So we could take the Brood Spinner as a follow up. Um, green black is a delirium color, uh, black white. What is black white? I don't even know what black white's supposed to be, like some sort of aristocrats type thing. Um, the other thing we could do is we could take pyroclasm, because it kills so much in this format. Look at all those crabs, even though it doesn't actually kill the crab, the mill crab. Um, I think the brood spinner's a higher. Hmm? I don't know. I think Pyroclasm is pretty good. I do like Pyroclasm. Although Miasma Demon's kind of already a Pyroclasm. Ah, what do I do? Um, this makes flyers. We'll take the we'll take the the green card. Okay, we got a Trial of Agony, which they immediately punish. Also, a Scorching Dragon Fire. Uh, what is our Patchwork Beastie? So it's a 3-3 three, three that can't attack or block, but it mills a card on your upkeep. Um, this turns a land into a 3-3 three, three until the end of turn. Or no, it's just it's just uh, forever. Okay. Man. I kind of like the survivor. And we'll just be sad about passing red. Not really any black that we're interested in. Yeah, let's let's take the survivor. A demonic council can go get our miasma demon. Uh, passing a we were passing so much red. Holy cow! Ah, that feels bad. That feels so bad. Glassworks is pretty good. Or you could just take the snapper. I can't jump into red now, can I? I that's just a wild thing to do. I'm gonna take the the cycler. There's our swamp cycler. Red continuing to flow. Another cursed recording. Horrid Vigor's okay. The Indestructible is great. The Death Touches is good. It, I would almost rather just have like a pump in the Indestructible instead of the Death Touch, but. Oh, yeah. White Black is Reanimator. That's what it is. Leyline of the Void. I don't actually need that. Cracked Skull? Oh, no. That's the. That's the discard one. Hmm. It's a, a semi easy way to get a, an enchantment into your graveyard, and the de the games do seem like they go a little long here. Uh, can we play Grievous Wound? What is this? A curse, or it should have been a curse. Player can't gain life, and when they're dealt damage, they lose half their life. Rounded up. Over the gorge. God, we should have been in. Black red, my gosh. 
so punished by that brood spinner. But uh, I think the cultist is kind of medium. Let's see if we can make make a rare work there. We have so much high end, but these guys help at least lower the curve on paper. Um. Man, that doesn't seem very good. We don't have any rooms. We can pick one up here over a plain cycler or a found footage. Yeah, I like that. Here's our opening pack over a cultist. I think we just take the cultist. It does block pretty well. Um, we can take the fear here over the derelict attic. Just as a, a way to start working towards delirium. Sure, it's just a filler. There's another filler. I don't think we're playing the second one. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, thanks for the free gems. Alrighty, what do we get? Fear of exposure. That's the one that, that's the survivor helper. We also have a vengeance and a long neck. <sighs> Not really much good stuff here. Well, I guess we just take the fear of exposure. We might be able to get enough stuff because this happens in lands or creatures. Okay. Okay. Okay, but hear me out. That seems so bad. That's, <laughs> that seems so bad. Like, yeah, you're drawing cards, but you pretty much have three turns and a 6-6 six, six that if they kill, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're going to take the 2-2 two, two that gets us lands. Another Grievous Wound of Valvagoth's Faithful, which is quite nice with these cyclers. Um, so it's probably our pick here over the long neck. Again, we're not taking the second Grievous Wound. Um, Fear of Imposters. It's interesting. It's very, uh, almost like Warhammer 40k art. It's very Nurgle-esque. I don't think we would mind a give in to violence later, but we definitely just want to get our creatures right now. I think this guy's pretty good in the Delirium deck, right? It's a 5-4 for 4. four. Um, and if it's a land, it goes into play. Otherwise, you draw it over a Flesh Burrower. I'm going to take the Uncommon. That's also kind of a... <laughs> interesting that we have Trapped in the screen and Sheltered by Ghosts here. We do need some actual removal. So, okay. And some arrives. I think many people have pointed this out already, but you can enchant your own creature with this if your opponent only has one creature and it forces them to sacrifice it. So yeah, we'll definitely take that. It's, it's kind of a late... What is this? Pack, pick five? It's kind of a late Gremlin Tamer for the room spec. And so, let's see, this should be here. We're almost always going to do Moldering Gym first here. So that is instant speed. It just costs six to do. Another Sporogenic, some Anthropedes, or Fear of the Dark. I'm gonna take the sporogenic. We just have to work. We have to watch our creature count to make sure that we have targets for that. Although you can stack them, if we just have a fear of lost teeth hanging out. Fear of lost teeth is also pretty good with sporogenic if we do put it on our opponent, since it can just uh, slap in there and ping ping stuff down. Um, what's this? A bounce or one or more creatures drawing a card. 
This makes one of our colors for free over a big, we might, might be in a situation where we end up playing something like that. Got to break down the door over an Anthropede. It is an instant, so yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. Just main deck enchantment removal is playable in this format. Um, do I really want a two drop that dives to everything? Or do I want this plane cycler for reasons? Here we'll take the bear trap just in case we end up needing it. Take the given to violence. And then a bunch of blue. Not playing the second cracked skull. Going. Alright, we got a peer past the veil. Another miasma demon and another brood spinner. There's also a murder and a final vengeance. There's actually a lot of good cards in here for us. Manifest Dread and Wary Watchdog. I really hope to wheel one of these cards here, but I am going to take the big demon. We'd love to see some of the mana dorks, the, um, the O4s, I think they are. Otherwise, we're about relying on Valvagoth's, Valgavoth's faithful to get our big boys back early. I think this guy's also really good. Over Cryptid and Spachis. All the top end, huh? What is Waltz of Rage? That's like the board wipe, right? Yeah, you're, one of your creatures punches every other creature. All right, we're gonna take him. I think we cut one Miasma Demon with that. Uh, there's a Manifest Dread we really like. Also a Silent Hall Creeper, another Fear. No, we're gonna take the the two drop that gets us closer to delirium because it puts a sorcery in there it probably puts a land in there and then you get a creature or something else that might die it's really good at getting you there still would like would like more than just our uh, our gym as ramp so house cartographer might be might need to do a lot of work in this deck oh there's kaito do we just splash for kaito i think so yeah yeah all right he's just really good um he's a three four hex proof as long as it's your turn and you can cheat him in early uh, if you have a, a creature to swap him with um yeah, and he just he does a lot of stuff for you his planeswalkers are good there's a strangled cemetery it's really good um, again, if this was the ramp stuff, I might take it, but no, we'll take the, take the thing because we're going to have to play a basic at this point. Would be really interested in a, um, in the island cycler, the megalodon, but no, we're just going to take the uncommons. Okay, there's a Winter's Intervention. That's really good for us. Just a nice early piece of interaction. Take that. Uh, Fear of Lost Teeth, the Saw. I don't think that's very good. Just take the Teeth or the Appendage. The teeth is actually kind of funny with Grievous Wound, because if they block it and kill it, it pings them. Oh, we did get this back. We also got the murder. Also a final vengeance. What's our color split look like? Mostly black. I'm going to take the Brood Spinner. I think the Surveil is just going to be a little bit more useful to us in trying to get to our island that we have no fixing for. Commune with Evil helps, though. That's a little bit of a draw spell. Actually, let's just take that. Take the two drop. And we'll check our enchantment count in just a moment. Uh, 
All right, so yeah, we definitely whiffed on the fixing, unfortunately. We do have the haunted screen, so maybe that comes in. We just, we want to be able to play Kaito. Um, and we're going to play one. Does this deck, this deck probably, well, we've got two cyclers. I think we're okay on 13 land, or on 16 land. Jesus, 13. No, thank you. Let's have a look. Let's look at our creatures. So break down the door, also kind of a creature, uh, as is Manifest Dread. Let's cut ca Cracked Skull. Almost thinking we cut the Fear of Exposure too, although it is a, let's see, we have two artifacts, seven enchantments, and two of everything else. So pretty easy to get enchantments, or rather creatures and lands, easy. Medium on uh, enchantments, and then the artifacts, sorceries, and instants make up the rest of it. OK. We have a fair amount of ways to surveil and, and do stuff. And we have some, some double dipping role players. I think we do want this. I, th I think we definitely want something that'll draw us to to our our stuff. Let's see, these guys are the yeah. Those are the four the cyclers. Need one cut. I keep looking at grievous wound, but I really want to try it out. Or just cut the fear of exposure. What's our creature count? 15, 16, 17. Kind of 18 with weight room. You know what? The root wise survivor is bad, Narda. We need our lands. Okay, now let's just cut him. Okay. So our balance is 16, 9. We have. A lot of double black. I think I think this is okay. Let's just run it. Let's just run it. Let's get into the games. Okay. All right, we've got We've got stuff to do on turn one, turn two, and we can go get lands with the gym. So yeah, let's let's keep this. We are also on the draw here. Nice natural land. Let's get the teeth. Give them the teeths. Coming right up off that dentist chair. All right, they're gonna manifest dread. Sure. That's imitatable. Ooh, hard decision. Okay. So they decided to mill a clockwork percussionist. Okay. A block. Okay. Doing the land. Okay, so they probably wanted that in their graveyard. Alright. Um Nice, we can just turn that face up next turn and start slapping them. That's gonna be good. So just give them the old slappy slappies. Okay, so they've got delirium, unfortunate. You won't block. Yeah. So 
so the gym is going to be a good uh, thing to sacrifice to the mutilator probably. This is exile too, that's kind of nice. Double red, what are we saving the green for? Oh, in case they draw. Okay. Maybe they were hoping to hit another, no? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So let's go attacking. They could have the indestructible death touch spell, but there's really not much. It's probably exactly what this is. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. I mean, we still get to do uh, three damage to him. So we're going to go get our island. And we're going to play our second tooth. Now that blocks the face down card. We do have to watch their, oh gross, that's really bad. Okay. Yeah. No blocks. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna do this. And we will put I guess it doesn't super matter. Um, they do have six. The wolf. That's brutal. We need murder, or we actually we just need to kill the face down card this turn. And I don't think we can do that. We can do. Dang. It's sixteen damage. Because next turn they can unlock the Tunnel of Hate as well. Gross. It's soloed by the Fly Trap. Ah, uh, yeah. You got it. Yeah, can't beat that. Soloed by the Fly Trap. Uh, I don't think there was much we could have done there. We needed them to. We need them to put like try to double up on the fly trap and leave the manifest card open so that we could force them to we could block it and they'd only have one creature. Yeah, so they would have they would have sacrificed the face down and their room to the demon and we would have had the demon versus the fly trap and just losing horribly there. <sighs> this hand doesn't do anything. I think that's a mulligan. Yeah, this is better. Um, let's pitch the infection. Yeah. And we'll see if we can get the cartographer up and going. Might get us out of this with Winter's Intervention helping. Or we can just commune with evil if we hit something naturally. Ah, okay. So we're going to shoot that and attack. Play our land. And again, notably, it does not put it into play. Haunted screen, okay. Okay. Put our miasma demon on the bottom. I'm 
I'm going to be punished by letting them have that screen, but put one of them into your hand and the rest into the graveyard. Um, we'll take the Wicker Folk. Okay. Innocuous Rat. So that's when it dies. They get to manifest. So they don't know about that, okay. Yeah, let's go attacking. Yep. Just bop them. Oh, that comes into play on tap now? Hey, hey. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just want to get our big boy online. Highest upside, they're going to flip their egotist. Okay. Okay, that's that's okay. We have they get to attack, but we have um, we have break down the door here. We also have vile mutilator. A yoink. Attack. Land, manifest dread, sad, womp womp. Yeah, so let's put Kaito in the graveyard then. And just add delirium. Okay. So let's. Go attacking. Uh, I will put that on the battlefield. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually kind of like doing this instead. Don't need those. Boink. I'm going to hold that just in case they have some sort of discard effect. Chainsaw deals three damage. Sad. Okay. Does have death touch though. Oh, yeah, then let's just kill that. So they get to equip that next turn, but we're just going to play our Snatcher. They are getting close to being able to turn Haunted Screen on, sure, yeah. This gets both of their creatures if we do this. Nice. Go get them. Boink. Nice. 
Nice. All right, got there. That was a little hairy for a moment. Very back and forth. That was... All right, we are one and one. Let's go to game three. Microcosmos, like the hit BTS song. Okay, yeah. Because this is a turn three fear of exposure. Uh, this deck. Okay. Fear of exposure is going to go a long way towards trying to get around the blocking capability that they have there. Ah. It'll be interesting to see how good this card is. I think most of this card's merit in this format is just going to be a 3-3 a three, three for 2. Don't kill my cartographer, please. Please don't kill my cartographer. That's fine. Oh, their mana. Their mana strangled. Okay. Good. So we're going to do this. Do this. Doink, doink. And we're going to go get a Strangled Cemetery. And that lets us attack through their... Oh, never mind. Okay, so we're going to play that. Um, let's play the screen. And we'll play our fear. I don't think trading with one stocked researcher is good. Definitely need a way to push through. Although, once we, if we hit them with the Grievous Wound, the fear of lost teeth become a real problem. They have the Skull Crab to block one of them, but... Alright, they got their fourth land. Peeper casts enchantments, unlocks, and face-ups. Okay manifests and then attaches and it gives it flying sure Yeah, those are going to be a problem for you, aren't they? It does have trample as well. Yep, it's pretty obvious. Block there. Have the screen activation next. That was probably a bad attack. Let's see, we, we traded a whole okay, so now they get to mill us. And what does it do? And then they can attack as well. They can manifest, ooh, and then the uh, Paranormal Analyst is actually very good for them. Okay. Da 
That's pretty funny. So they will be able to attack Kaito next turn for five. If we cast this, we can tap the crab, attack them for one, they go to eight and they go to four. Or we can just play Kaito Surveil. Let's do this first. It's still a big boy. So this guy has trample as well, which is going to be important. Yep. So yeah, they're they're incentivized to do that. This lets them attack and kill Kaito, which is whatever. Do they just lose to this? They go to three and then lose to round it up. That's pretty funny. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter though. Yay, Grievous Wound. <laughs> Stupid bath card. Okay, and Kaito did nothing. Yeah, four. Four mana and a life to stun a stupid crab. Man. And, and that's that's why I said those those three threes are going to be the backbone. Or just any X threes that that deck can play on one and two mana are going to be the backbone of keeping it alive. Yeah, let's keep that. Looks good. Blink. Brood Spinner should get us past any more lands that are clumping up at the top. Sure, okay. All right, could be a, uh, a fellow. Um, yeah, we don't need the land. We'll take the we'll take the screen for sure. But they have their own Brood Spinner, okay. I am very tempted to just kill that. Okay. Let's just get our mana online. I'm not super afraid of that. If they had blocked there, I would have, I could have gone for the Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty annoying. So yeah, now... Let's do this. Put one into hand. Take the big boy. Okay, and then we're going to... We're going to infection that. So then they sack the survivor. Yep. And then we smack them. Bop. We could have held back because then they just wouldn't be able to attack with the, the brood spinner, but I don't know. Okay. We like to see that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, 
Okay, walks, dies. Does this go face? No, it cannot go face. Okay. We can cast the Miasma Demon next turn. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Play the big boy. Oof. Oof, owies. I wonder what they're white for. Twitchin' doll. Man, mono removal, huh? Okay. Doink. So they've gone Murder, Withering Torment. Okay. We would like for them to not have more. Okay, that's not removal. Another Planes. Interesting. Okay, that's Lifelink. Um, I will take damage. Thank you. Is it players can't gain life? Oh, that's, that's really pretty interesting then, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and kill that. Bop. 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 Okay, now they need removal for the demon. If we hit a land, we get the screen, though. Wow. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So they can only get permanence back. Okay. We just really we just really need to be able to crack that open and make a bunch of, uh, of dumb idiots. That's also good. We don't really need this. Yeah, we want that so we can play multiple creatures in one turn. Sure. Oh, God. Ah, okay. So there's their. Yeah. Well, I could have blocked there, but. Turn. Yeah, and then this can be at instant speed, so we're just going to no attacks. They can't attack anymore because fear of lost teeth will kill them. You can't target brood spinner. You have, you need to exile fear of to lost teeth. Oh, they do have. They do have five, five boys off of uh, Brood Spinner, though. Uh oh, cancel. Yeah, because yeah, any any way that we can get that makes guys. If we don't win here, so what, they they crack and block one for one. Fear of Lost Teeth deals one to them. 
they go to two. No, we don't have it just yet. Okay. Right, and then they're gonna flip that up and smack us big time. Okay. So. Can we do both? No, we can't do both. block we deal one to them they would go to two and then they would lose one and go to one can't get it quite yet so they're gonna do that they're gonna flip the porcelain gallery make five yeah you can't do that it's sorcery speed bud nice try oh wait no they just wanted to put the uh, the counter on it yep flip that I have to do this. Let's see, they'll make, I think we might be okay now that we hit that other fear. Elevated pulse rate, <laughs> elevated heart rate. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. What does the other side do? Oh, they can get a, they can get creatures back. get their spinner back yep uh-huh because now all we have to do is attack with both teeth Okay. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for you. Right? We just win. Because nothing, like, they have to block those. They can't gain life. Bop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> feels good. Just pulling their teeth out. Yoink. Oh, <laughs> my heart can't take it. All right, we are three and one. Let's go to game five. Sorry, I was just reading an email in the background. 
did not make any sense to me. And I'm still giving you, I don't think this, <laughs> this card can't be good. It's, it's better. It's better with the fear, but, uh, no, it is, it is not good. Um, Offer them the trade, honestly. Like if they want to, that means they're not drawing a card. They're not manifesting. Doink. Ah, uh, that's so bad, right? We don't have a way to get him. Yeah, I think we think we have to. Opponent's like, what? What? Let me just pull corner. That sucks. But Cultist does get through it. Okay, we knew that was coming. Let's play the Cultist. No attacks. Next turn, we can Slasher if the Cultist, well, regardless of what happens to the Cultist, it will die. Tunnel. Okay. So they have to manifest or else it's just a loot. Okay. Oh, good. Altanac. Yay. So now it's a straight up draw. Yep. So now, yep, they just get to draw. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I think we attack with both. Doink, donk. Now we have a 4-4 four, four Death Touch, and our Cultist can come back. <sighs> they need to hit a land to be able to... Okay, so now they can do that. That does suck, but... Our Slasher still gets through it. Was it the counter spell? Okay. This instant activate only a sorcery. Oh, we can't do it anyway. Um, what do we have? Creature enchantment and planeswalker. Bookworm's very good. Don't feel great about our position. Okay, so now they get their second green source. We need to get rid of that, I think. So this is the loot. I have to discard. Yep. Yeah, so let's do... We're going to exile an enchantment. And then... Let's go ahead and attack. We'll see if we can get them to block. Sure. Death touch. Okay. Now they had a second one. Sure. They had a third one. Sure. Okay. 
Yeah, that gets you a lot of selection. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So they have a counter spell now, but they can't cast it. They draw a card. That is not a May. Okay. Let's kill that. And I think we sit because we want to hit them with we want Grievous Wound to do work for us. And now they're going to be well, they're also going to be incentivized to hold up that counter spell. We need one more land to get to Haunted Scream. Yeah, maybe we should have attacked there. This can manifest at instant speed, so that does make... Oh no, it's only when it's turned up. Okay, that's good to know. Again, I don't think we need to attack just yet. We can also Brood Spinner to make a whole bunch of idiots. Yep. So we make four idiots off of Brood Spinner at the end of their turn, and then Grievous Wound them. So then they'd go to eight, and then they'd lose down to four, to two, to one. Okay, yeah. We want them to use their mana, so we, we do definitely want to block here. Sure. Grievous wound your face? Do you have the counter spell? They did. Okay. I mean, it's still a two turn clock. Okay, yeah. Do we even need to play anything? So we want to enchant this one, and they'll have to sacrifice the big boy. They can give it hexproof or something. Ooh, sure. Hey, we got there. Nice. Didn't need the mutilator. It does kind of suck that you have to you have to play the the plan with the grievous wound there face up, right? Like we make all of our dudes, and then haha, that's why I made these dudes. But I don't know. Uh, four and one. Let's go to game six. Nice. Games are clipping along. I like it. Definitely felt like some really like back and forth games, which is nice. It doesn't feel like you know we're getting steamrolled or that it really mattered that we were on the draw versus the play so far. So good first impressions. I like it.
I love seeing this stupid idiot every turn. Um, yeah, so we will keep this. I don't think we're going to get this guy turn two, but strange. Hey, never mind. Or turn three. We do need to hit the land. Um, unfortunately, this isn't the Swamp Cycler. Don't kill my fear. He's not doing it. Oh, just to cycle it. Okay. Boink. We'll hold Winner's Intervention. Yeah, it's okay. Cycle. Yoink. Bonk. Okay, that at least gives us stuff to do. Um, I'll attack. I'll block. Doink. Let's play this. Play this. So next turn, we can bring back the branch snapper. Yeah, we're not blocking. So what that, what does that do? It's an eerie, okay. Sure, 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 sure. This is sorcery speed only, yeah, of course it is. Dread. Um, I hate the smokiness. We just have a creature. So let's go ahead and put the land in the graveyard. So this gives uh, indestructible, but we can just eat it with the fear if they attack with it. Oh, okay. Show me what you got, bud. Yeah, that's fine. We know they have stuff like that. Totally fine. Okay. So, does that cause that does not ta uh, take a tap? We get counterspelled here, we're kind of sad face panda, but looks like they didn't have it. A lot of lands. A lot of colors too. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll block there. Get rid of that. They can have the life. It's fine. Nope. Just go ahead and get our big boy back. Which means they probably have a removal spell for it. Oh, they're just going to play alt attack. Okay. We do have a. Oh no, it does attack. It attacks as a 10 10. Man, one more mana. Can't attack, it's just too risky. They just take the seven. I feel like they should have attacked with the escort here. Um, let's see, we're definitely doing, that's seven. Definitely doing that. I'm trying to remember what the what the pump spells are. There is a plus two plus two. So we need to do that if they have the, the horrify or whatever. So let's just do that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. OK. 
Okay. Does stop them from gaining life. But we actually have to do this. Yeah, and hit them, hit it with the intervention here. They really should be attacking with their escort to make their big thing indestructible, but ah, that sucks. That sucks. Yep. Now they get to attack with everybody. I think we're just dead. See, yeah, because I can do. Yeah, we're just super dead. Yeah, good beats. Good beats. Just too many big fatties after another, and then the fear of immobility to take away our block. Okay, uh, what are we, four and two? Four and two, let's go to game seven. Ah, we finally get got. We get, but we are on the play. I don't think so. Yeah, keep this. Pitch the forest. Red. It's the haste monkey. Okay, that's. That's helpful. Uh, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and keep the break down the door. Okay, so let's just play our man out. Tax. So they get to, they can loot, or, or rummage. Oh, they're just gonna go with the gremlin, okay, sure. I think they'd be wanting to get the uh, percussionist in the graveyard. Oh, it's enters, not attacks, okay, do you know? So we can trade with the Vicious Clown here. Unless they have enchantment removal. Yeah, we get to see how dangerous the, the Boros deck is this time around. Yeah, okay. We can exile it. Okay, good draw, good draw. So now we get to, that's an instant actually. So let's hold up on that until the end of your next turn. So let's just, let's eat the gremlin now. Gain some life back and we'll sit on break down the door. Oh, it has ward, it has ward, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Trapped in the screen, should have played the moldering gem there. Reading Vicious Clown. Okay, so Vicious Clown's gonna be a 4-3. Man, not playing the gym there is terrible. Okay, we might have to actually just exile that. All right, yeah, we're just gonna take the six.
We just can't let Annabelle attack. It's just not tenable. No attacks. Next turn we can if we hit oh no, we can do we can just do cast my asthma demon next turn. Okay, so that's something. They have to play this this turn if they Actually very good if they play that this turn yeah because that gives the clown big and then they can pump the fear of surveillance as well brutal so if we if we take it we go to one play the miasma demon shoot the fear I'm, I'm gonna go to one. I think I think we have to really need them to low roll here. Okay, so shoot that. Sit back. games yeah the ward two on that was huge for them so if we had played the gym if we had played the gym out we would have been able to eat the trapped in the screen yeah so that was that was huge not not respecting the ward on that instead of just playing out our our ramp but uh four and three for the first draft of the format take a look at the deck here again again i i don't think grievous wound is good uh i didn't really get to do do much with kaito but that's what happens when you're you're splashing in a deck like this but uh yeah um hopefully more to come and thank you so much for watching very much appreciated please do the youtube stuff the likes the comments the subscribes and uh, maybe we'll get to 100 subscribers pretty soon. Be cool. All right, then. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.